We're going to turn now to Republican Congressman George Santos, who is going back to Capitol Hill, back to Washington, after pleading not guilty to a 13-count felony indictment in New York. Federal charges include fraud, money laundering, all of it connected to the campaign for his seat on New York's Long Island. And Caitlin, Caitlin Huey Burns is with us now after talking with Santos in quite the scrum outside the courthouse yesterday. It was quite an event. Good morning, Tony, and good morning to everyone. Well, George Santos was released on $500,000 bond, and he says, he's heading back to Washington, but he'll be returning with some diminished support. Last night, House Speaker Kevin McCarthy said he would not back Santos's bid for re-election. New York Congressman George Santos left a Long Island courtroom Wednesday vowing to fight the federal charges against him and taking a page from former President Trump's legal playbook. I'm going to fight the witch. I'm going to take care of clearing my name, and I look forward to doing that. Santos pleaded not guilty to financial charges, including fraud, money laundering, and lying on his disclosure forms during his 2022 campaign. What evidence do you have that they don't have? I, it's extensive. You, oh, I, I have plenty of evidence that we will now be sharing with the government in this case to make sure that I can defend my innocence. Federal prosecutors allege Santos encouraged donors to make campaign contributions through a company and used the money to pay for personal expenses, including luxury designer clothing and credit card payments. Santos is also accused of collecting thousands of dollars in pandemic-era unemployment insurance while making six figures at a Florida-based investment firm. Santos is refusing to resign, and even if indicted under the Constitution, he can't be disqualified from being a member of Congress or a candidate for re-election. Are you planning on running for re-election? Yes, I am. Do you and think why should anybody believe you now? Well, like I said, I will prove myself innocent, and then we'll move from there, and re-election is a very far time away. With a razor-thin majority in the House, Speaker Kevin McCarthy has resisted calling on Santos to resign, but Wednesday, he went the farthest to date to oppose Santos. So you don't plan to support Santos for re-election? That's what I said. And after leaving court, Santos mentioned this indictment in a fundraising tweet. His next court appearance isn't until the end of June, but if convicted, the most serious charges carry a maximum sentence of 20 years in prison. Were you surprised that he used the term witch hunt when he was talking? We have seen him evoke Donald Trump's playbook yeah. with a lot of this, um, but these charges are very serious. This is not just fabricating your resume, lying about your past. Mm -hmm. These are fraud charges. Oof. To be continued. Yeah. Caitlin, good to have you at the table. Thank you, you so much. Yeah.